Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool metal French style telephone rotary dial and this is Lillian's telephone from Texas and so basically what we have here is a line cord that uh, there's a note here with this telephone and Lillian wants that replaced and of course we would replace that because it's got uh, it's it's just kind of a a bunch of pieces put together to get a line cord out so we're going to go ahead and uh, replace the line cord but uh, we have the telephone plugged in and this is the initial check out of this telephone we're going to go ahead and ring the telephone and every time you see this red light go by we'll wait for another ring cycle every time that red light goes by that's a ring cycle and the telephone is not ringing so we're going to go ahead and pick up the handset and I want to give you some dial tone but there is no dial tone and as you can see we'll wait for another ring cycle it just went by so we're not getting any anything out of the telephone at all I'm going to go ahead and stop the ring cycle and I'm going to pull the top of this telephone off because we this is the initial checkout and I want to show you the inside of that if you've never seen the inside of one of these now these were made in Korea and they were made for the American market and I want to kind of show you what's uh, going on on the inside now if you notice it's got Western Electric parts in it that's a Western Electric bell and network that you would see in a Princess telephone and that kind of gives you a look and I want to show you what they have here for the line cord so it's all kind of pieced together and that gives you a look at on the inside of this telephone so we want to go through a little bit of everything we also want to go through the rotary we want to make sure that that is oiled and cleaned and adjusted uh, we want to go through the bell circuit and the network and uh, then we want to check the handset now there's some issues with the handset here we want to tighten some of this up and uh, get this straightened out so it, it has quite a few different little issues we'll probably use the handset cord since uh, it's it's still usable probably but we will check that out and make sure that uh, that it's still in working condition but uh, we're going to take a short break from the video and we're going to go ahead and start repairing this telephone and we'll get some more video of it as we move forward in the uh, repair of this telephone so we'll be right back okay we're back now and we have uh, replaced the line cord so there's no need to keep that we can throw that away now uh, we've went through the rotary we went through the network we also repaired the bell circuit and now what we can do is go ahead and ring the telephone I'll let that go one more time We'll go ahead and answer it, give you some dial tone. I want to take dial tone away by dialing a 2, and you can see there's no transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there is no transmit, and we still need to go through the handset and get everything tightened up. So let's find out why there's no transmit. We want to take the T1 out. And the reason why there's no transmit is because our two transmit wires have been broken off. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and repair that. So we're going to take a short break from the video and we're going to repair the transmitter and then we'll come back and we'll do our final checks. So we'll be right back okay we're back and uh, basically what we want to go through here is somebody has put a whole bunch of epoxy inside the horn 
and they have repaired this handset before so they've got a mess of wires here and uh, they epoxied the wires through the horn into the bracket that holds the horn on and we need to clean all this up because what we want to do is we want to repair this unit the horn and uh, get it all back together again and run some new wires up to the transmitter so that's kind of what we're in the process of doing right now uh, before what would have happened is uh, they have this nut here for the uh, horn we're going to try to take that off because we're going to go about this a different way now that it's all broke up and then we need to get this piece out of the horn bracket so that's basically where we're at right now uh, just kind of repairing an old repair that really uh, didn't work very well and so uh, we're kind of at that point right now so we'll take a short break and start working on this and we'll be right back okay we're back now and so what we're going to do here is we're going to take some heavy brass tubing and we're going to go ahead and flatten one side because I want that to ride on the inside of the horn so we'll just make sure we line that up and then that will give that some stability there plus that will be epoxied in and then what we can do is come through our horn bracket and then go ahead and thread that or epoxy it and that will not uh, come apart after that's all put together under normal usage now if it's dropped on the floor a few times it, it could break again but uh, that'll be a lot better than just simply epoxying the uh, horn to the bracket and uh, that should uh, take care of the problem so we're going to go ahead and take a short break from the video and uh, we'll be right back okay we are finished up with this telephone and we're going to run through a few things that went on with this telephone we replaced the line cord for this telephone we went through the network and made sure everything was proper there we went through the bell circuit and repaired that we went into the rotary and cleaned oiled and adjusted the rotary we also repaired the handset and stabilized everything on the handset and got that repaired and so uh, we also while working on the handset found that the uh, T1 transmitter was bad so we replaced that and we also got rid of uh, some connections that were in the handset that uh, we didn't need and we did away with so after we repaired it and so now what we want to do is our final checks on this telephone we want to go ahead and ring it I'm going to let that go a few times I'll let it go one more time I want to give you some dial tone if you watch the analyzer we're going to dial our numbers I'm going to end in a 2 and I want to transmit into the handset so if you watch the analyzer every time you see that red light on the analyzer light up that's an indication of 100 percent modulation on transmit one two three four five six hello hello so now that we have our handset all stabilized nothing is loose now and we have repaired the horn area of the transmitter and all that is stabilized so this handset uh, should under normal conditions be just fine and it uh, doesn't uh, have any problems now and it's not all loose and moving around we also want to show you the line cord that we installed we put plenty of length on the line cord because the original line cord which was not really original to the telephone but the original line cord that this telephone came in with basically was pretty long so we went ahead and reproduced that we're going to go ahead 
and switch this telephone over to a regular line and we're going to call like a time and temp give you some dial tone